Mortgage interest rates are climbing. Is this good or bad for Tampa real estate? Because we're experiencing this thing called inflation, reports are telling us that mortgage interest rates are the highest they have been since March 2020. Last week, I spoke to you about the fact that the industry leaders are claiming Tampa will have the greatest real estate boom in the country. With our low inventory and our thriving job market, we're expected to reach new heights. But how will all of this be impacted by mortgage interest rates? Will mortgage interest rates keep you from buying or selling your home this year? Well, I'm Kendall Bonner with Remax Capital Realty in Tampa, Florida. The 30 year fixed rate for mortgages averaged about 3.45 this week, which is up a quarter of a percent from last week, according to Freddie Mac. To put that in perspective, that's the highest average rate since the pandemic made its debut in March, 2020. And compared to this time last year, the 30 year fixed rate was averaging 2.23% which is ridiculously low and of course impacted the refi market. Lots of folks and families refinance their mortgages to take advantage of those very low rates. Moreover, families who bought homes last year could afford a larger mortgage because they got more bang for their buck. So what does this mean for home buyers and sellers heading into 2022? Well, first, should you wait to buy? Well, economists are expecting the Federal Reserve to do three to four rate hikes this year. This means that investors will have to make adjustments as well, which will have an impact on mortgage interest rates. So as the year progresses, mortgage interest rates are likely to go up, thereby making home affordability to go down. Meaning what you could afford now, you may not be able to afford this time next year. However, let's just add a little bit more perspective. Just because the interest rates are rising, interest leader, industry leaders do not expect the demand for housing to actually decline. Because the reality is that 3.5 interest rate, relatively speaking, is fabulous rate. In the 80s, people borrowed money to buy houses at an interest rate in the teens. For example, the monthly payment for a $100,000 loan at the historical peak rate of 18.63% in 81, $1,500, compared to just under 450 at 3.31. What a difference. So when the next question is, should you wait to sell? Well, while experts agree that the rise in interest rates may not cool the demand for housing, it may slow down the home price growth that we have experienced over the last two years. As I stated last week, the average sales price in December 2019 was 311,000, while the average in December 2021 was 410. That's a substantial increase that is not likely to persist, but that does not mean that home prices are gonna fall anytime soon. So if you're waiting for a steal of a deal, you better go to the auction block <laughs> and bring some snacks because you'll be waiting a while for your turn. And if you're waiting for the market to peak in sales price because you want to experience the greatest home equity advance, well, I'd say now is probably a really good time to explore that. Our team of real estate advisors are here to help you understand the time value equation that's best for you and your pocketbook. So please let me know if we can be of service to you, your friends, or your family. Make it a great day in Tampa Bay.